fight for the first time in our home cage. That's the power of Omar Binjar, but strong jab. Oh, big chick fight, Omar Binjar. Omar with a big right. I have people that, you know, look up to me, and uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to let those people down. Ladies and gentlemen, fighter entering the cage, Omar Benjar. His wife, Lauren, won the amateur ladies title this evening. Omar, as an amateur, four and five, as a professional, one and four. They call him the Moroccan baller. He is from Morocco, training out Genesis Jiu-Jitsu. Jeremy Hudson looking for his first win as a professional. He is zero wins, one defeat. So, ought to be an interesting fight simply because you've got one guy looking to get his first win. You've got another one that's looking to redeem his record Now, I know Omar quite well, uh, as I do his wife, of course. Omar Benjar, who is, I'll put it this way, <clears throat> gentlemen, if you, he, he's married, so this really doesn't count, but to tribute this, if you had a daughter and she was going to date or marry somebody, Omar Benjar would be that man that you'd want to see at your door because he is one of the finest human beings you'll ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Swole Clock, the official time clock of the XKO. We are set for three rounds of fighting action in the XKO catch weight at 140 pounds. Introducing first, fighting at the next bank blue corner, trained in MMA, standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing in 139 pounds, representing Genesis Jiu Jitsu. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, the Moroccan baller, Omar Binjar. A 
across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner, trained in Muay Thai and Karate. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in 139 pounds, representing Mansfield MMA, fighting out of Mansfield, Texas, Jeremy Hudson. Referee Aaron Menard. Omar Benjar, the black and uh, the uh, green and red. Hudson in the black. Both men <laughs> very equal in height, very equal in size, obviously in weight. Wouldn't expect this to go three rounds, to be quite honest with you, folks. Jeremy Hudson taking on Omar, the Moroccan Mauler Binjar. And Hudson immediately going in hard and heavy on, on Omar Binjar. Omar, nice knee. Going to try and kill him off. And there's the turn by that body lock. Hudson went to take Omar down. Binjar doing a heck of a job of holding that, looking for that position. Now, Omar going immediately into a front face lock. Looking for an underarm guillotine right here. It's a double arm guillotine. That looks really tight, Antonio. He's going to walk him back to the cage, get some momentum on that, going for the body to bend that now body he, he a little went, bit more forward. Yeah, and he's just controlling him right now. He let it go, but he had a front face lock there, and it was a good control move. And Omar's going to he's it again. Cranking, he's now cranking. he's got a full up reversal. It's a reverse. He should be able to hold this, keep his elbow dropped in, and squeeze and lean back. This could very well be the fight right here. That is a really tight choke. And I wouldn't be surprised. Man, I'm surprised Hudson's waiting. Omar Binjar. Wow. wow. He held it. The Binjar is in such control right now. What? Woo! And I'll tell you right now, when you talk about Jeremy Hudson, I like to entertain. I come to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw him come to fight. Well, that was a beautiful attempt by Omar Binjar. And now Omar just got to keep his balance. Ah, lost it. Omar Binjar oh. representing Genesis Jiu-Jitsu. And Hudson did a good job flipping him over there. Representing Jen and Doug Fry. Jen Fry, world champion at Invicta. That's right. Now look, look for the elevator right here by Omar Binjar. He's got an under, watch his foot underneath. He has one high on the crotch. Here's the sweep attempt. Not going to get it. But Omar doing a really good job here. And, uh, man, I tell you. You know, both these guys are just quick, fast. And now, there's they're right there. Look at the explosiveness there of Benjar. Yeah, he tried to go in for that, tried yeah. to bring him around, and then Omar yeah. just too fast. Well, and Omar's, he doesn't, Omar's really good at getting off of his back, getting up on his feet. And right there, Hudson went for a reversal, tried to, tried to better his position. Omar took advantage of it. Now, watch. Look at this. Omar's going to push push the face down with the palm, goes for the elbow. Now look for some ground and pound here. Yeah, nope, he's going to let him up. Kick. You have to watch out for that up kick. Yep. Omar Binjar is really looking nice. He's got oh. to keep his head on a swivel here, though. You know, I like the fast pace these guys are doing. At this weight, they can do this all day long. Yeah, and, and Omar took a took a pretty nasty cut there. Uh, on the on the forehead because the forehead of course is thin so he did take a cut now we'll watch the body lock we'll watch for the throw yeah he's got the body lock watch Omar's hips there immediately going to reverse it Hudson looks a little tired he's breathing out of the mouth and I think Omar's cut across the left temple right well, yeah, he's now. cut right on the center of the forehead and again watch for Omar maybe a little ground and pound if not he's going to let him back up and he's going to try and work him some more Omar's doing a good job. Got, those again, kicks you gotta are watch. So you gotta watch Hudson. the up and, and boom. And I tell you what, Jeremy Hudson, great timing. Omar Binjar, he's just looking to expose uh, Jeremy Hudson right now. Yeah, and Omar again needs to watch, needs to duck, needs to move his head a little bit, change his levels. Got to change levels here. I love the timing of these guys. Yeah, both, both, both. Good. There's a nice takedown. A nice full body throw there by Hudson on Binjar. And good job by Omar Binjar to do that little lock right there to yes. keep him from going for the top now. Yeah, going to tie him down, going to turn his hips over on the side, get busy on his hips. Yeah, you know, you get, Hudson Hudson looking to open that cut a little bit more with those elbows. And that's what you have to watch out for. If, if Hudson's going to stay busy with trying to open your head up, you have to do one or two things. You have to spin out, get out of there, get back to your feet. But, but right there, again, look at Binjar standing up.
gets out of that position. Amazing. Now, a, a front, a, a quick front kick to the face. Jerry oh, Hudson. Oh With Hudson's hands down, he needs to kick up, kick to the face. That's I. Oh, I want to see that. And Hudson swinging for the fences there. Now you know this is probably the fourth or fifth time, sixth time that Omar Benjar is. Oh, nice shots by what, nice shots by Benjar there. Oh, oh big uppercut. Up up that woke him up. Oh, he's opening him up. He needs to follow up with a leg kick. Yeah, and Omar's got to watch because Hudson likes to throw that crazy overhand. He needs to follow up with a knee. He needs to come in with a knee or an uppercut. Yeah. If Omar comes in with a knee, there there's it is. the knee right there. There there's it the is. Knee. Now come over top with an up with an elbow. Yeah. Yeah. Omar, look, he's come over the look for the elbow. elbow. He's working. Him. He's working. Him. He's ducking down the gun. Front Again, kick. that front kick right up the middle. Or oh, the round, that. That, that round kick. That round kick is what he's been going for. He finally landed it. Yep. And Omar, been, boy, Hudson looks tired, bro. Hudson looks tired. Omar does not. Wow. What a first round. What a first round. Omar Benjar, the Moroccan baller, his former coach said, if he wins by KO or TKO, he will be known as the Moroccan baller, and that's what happened in 2013. He's a full size, full time exercise psychologist, physiologist, excuse me, a physiologist, full time, and that is Omar Benjar. Him and his wife both met through MMA. Saw Lauren with Bam Benjar early night. She's sitting right behind us right now, holding a nice piece of jewelry. Yep. Which is yep. Got her nice new, title she's belt. She's got her nice shiny new title belt. Sitting here watching her husband, looking to bring it to two and zero oh tonight. Well, you know, and who else's husband is in there? Is Doug Fry yep. in there? You know, helping uh, Omar out, cornering them. His yep. wife, the world champion, Jim yep. Fry, is out here. I actually bought her yep. shirt. I wasn't aware tonight, but I had to wear the suit. Well, you did have to wear the suit. I had to wear the suit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round number two, Omar the Moroccan baller, Benjar, taking on Jeremy Hudson. Well, and Benjar, he's always been a workhorse. I've you've trained with him quite a bit. He's always been a workhorse. He doesn't gas. He, he's got gas for days. So now it's just a matter of, you know, you could tell after that first round that, that Hudson was, you know, he was tired. Oh, uh, wow. Benjar has, oh, Benjar's got to move his head. That's the thing. You've got to change levels. You can't just stay there. There, you got to duck like that. You got to move your head, slip and slide, slip and slide. You know, right now you see that Omar is trying to get baited in. Yeah, and if again, if Hudson's going to put his hands down, stick his chin out, you kick him straight in the face. I mean, that's all you do: pick up your lead leg and kick him in the face, because he's sticking it out there. Omar Benjar going in, going to shoot, going to try for the double here. And as tired as Hudson looks right now, it's not a bad idea. He's had success on the ground against Hudson, wearing him down. Well, you know, Hudson, his background is karate and Muay Thai. So I'm expecting to see a little bit more kicks if they get back to the ground. But, of course, you come out of Genesis Jiu-Jitsu, your ground, that's your bread and butter. Well, I w you know, def definitely you better you better be good at it. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And Omar's doing a real good job here. He's, he's controlling, controlling it. I'd like to see him slide his knee onto the belly here, really put some pressure on him, wear Hudson out a little bit more, not let him walk, climb the cage like this. That's what you got. That's what you got to watch. And Omar needs to stand up right now. Just stand up, take his back. Just disengage. Yeah, that's, that's right. Disengage. That's right. You want to. You, you and I had the same idea. Stand yeah. up, disengage, disengage. Step back. Let it go. And as soon as you get to the middle of the cage, I'm just saying, in a perfect world, as soon as your opponent starts to move forward or shift to the right, cut him off. But here we are. Yeah. And again, now Benjar is in his corner. Start using those elbows. Start yeah. raining the elbows down on the yeah. side of the. Yeah. Ear. He needs to come over. He needs to come over the head. He elbow, elbow, to, elbow, he, he elbow. He needs to force those. And, and Omar, he if kind of setting him up, looking for the choke. The only thing. Let yeah. him, yep, punching him. I mean, Omar's doing a good job controlling the ground right here. Break, break that grip and then drop your elbows there. Pin yeah. him between the cage and start coming in with your right hand because he's nowhere to go but to the left. That's right. And it's all. And oh, Omar, he's cut under yeah, the eye. Yeah, Omar's now cut him. Omar now cut him under the eye. And so he just keep working those elbows. Hold this position. That's what Omar needs to do. He needs to hold this position. Don't get bucked off. Don't get rolled. Now he's, now you have to be careful being that high. Yeah. Being that high, because if he bridges, Omar's going to go flying into, up, you know, right across his head, put yourself in a bad position. Well, right. And I think Omar's cognizant enough to know to put his palms down if that happens. Now, these are some nasty elbows. Omar oh, Benjar, his eye is he, is, he's, he, he has opened him up really good here. Omar's doing a good job of just working him. Oh, he's working open. him. He's working him. I mean that is some that is some really good ground and pound by Omar. Oh, his mouthpiece is coming out. His mouthpiece is coming out. Yeah, and it's out. Aaron Menard. This watching should be it. it. That should that should be I, it. I really think that Aaron Menard. 
and right. Oh, 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 he didn't get reversed. He stood back up. Jer and I got to tell you right now, Omar Benjar going to work, my, my hat off to Jeremy Hudson to stay composed. The kid's only 18 years old. Well, to take that kind of abuse, yeah. have your mouthpiece pop out. Yeah. Stay composed and end the fight. Wow. What yeah. a great fight. So yeah, it, it really, guys. I mean, you, I mean, the heart, everything like that. Hudson doing it, you know, really, really got to give him credit. I have no doubt about it. One minute, 37 seconds on the small clock time clock here at XKO 43. The Mark and Mahler, Omar Benjar, Jeremy Hudson. But again, Omar Benjar, and this is the experience that Omar has. From the camps and the coaches he's had in his life, he knows. You get a guy hurt, you work that. You work oh, that Oh, he's dropping these elbows. You work it, you work it, you work it, you, and you just finish the guy. And Omar Benjar can do this all day. He has got gas for days to do this. Trap that, trap that on. Oh, that's and ugly. Start, and they that's, just start dropping the bows. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, he's looking to trap it. There we go. Oh, switch over and go for an arm bar. Yeah, and switch over, a, go for an arm bar. There it is. And let's see if he can pry it open. Oh, he lost his position, lost his legs. Oh. And that's the scary part. Man, you hate to see the that. The crowd is on their feet. You hear screams from the crowd. Forty seconds left in a round number two. Jerry Hudson back on his back. Doing a tremendous fight here, representing Mansfield MMA. Yeah. <clears throat> Hudson. What a brawl. What Hudson. a brawl. Hudson really showing how tough he is. And I don't believe this whole entire exchange that Jeremy Hudson even has his yeah. mouthpiece in. Yeah, and Benjar's like, here's here's the mouthpiece. Okay. Now, let's see how tired Hudson is. Benjar should be fresh. Uh, I think Benjar's more fresh. Got to watch it a little slippery there. But I'm telling you, that's this is where the karate stance comes in. Oh, wow, he digs it right back. To, oh, he's rocked him. He's rocked Omar Benjar. Yep, yep. And again, that, that comes from the fact Benjar's got to do more head movement. Oh, and Benjar, I'm telling so you. Tired. I'm telling you, Benjar was probably thinking, okay, I got rocked. I know I heard the 10 second. Let me get to my corner and let me regain. Because you just don't know what could have happened. Uh, no, and, and I really thought instead of that arm bar, I'm not a fan, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not a fan of it. Most guys know it comes. Most people know the setup. The setup he used was to cross his arm over his, over Hudson's face. Right. When Hudson pushed the elbow back, that's when you go for the arm bar. Hudson, I think, knew that. What he should have done is taken that elbow, pinned it across his face, right. and held it there, and then used his other hand to punch him. A lot of blood on the mat right now. Oh, folks. yeah. A lot, lot of blood. Lot lot of blood. Here we are right here. I'm here joined with Scott Groff. And right behind us, is uh, Lauren with Bam Benjar back there. Yeah, Lauren, Lauren, yeah. Ba Lauren back here watching her husband fight. And uh, round number three. Final round. Here we go. Omar, Omar tanked himself a little bit there in the third. I'm a, I'm a little surprised. But, he, but he's got to change levels. If he's not swiveling his head, he's got to get a little lower when those punches come in. Fight of the night. What are you thinking? So far, so good. I mean, both guys have beat the crap out of each other. Both guys are cut. Both guys are bleeding out of their mouths. It's a war of attrition right here, my friend. Third and final five minutes, folks. Round three. Jeremy Zutz in the corner yelling, go, go, go. Yeah. He's Fight. Telling, and, and he's telling him to stay low on Omar. I even heard him say take him down. But but but, but Benjar, nice. He put you see how he ran through that? He continued to run through so that Hudson couldn't sprawl correct correctly. Now, can Omar Benjar capitalize it? That's right. And what he's gonna want to do is hook his legs around. Jeremy's like yep like that get a little bit of position here Jeremy was smart to get his back away from that cage and shovel out to the center of the cage here and give himself a little bit more well those up kicks are so dead we've, we've seen it throughout the fight yeah yeah very 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 close and he's fighting off his back Omar just posturing up good job but you, you have to get out of this position right now well yeah it's, it's risk control you know get back to your feet he's been very successful on the ground 
Yeah, and Omar Binjar is being real smart here about what he's trying, what he's trying to work. Both guys are being incredibly cognizant, intelligent of what of what techniques they're using. You know, I'll say right now, I would. Hudson's doing a good job throwing elbows off his back. He really, you know, for a guy to fight off his back like this and be accurate, you see some guys, just, the back of their head is just kissing that mat from punches and elbows, and they're out of the fight before they knew it. But yeah. Jeremy Hudson, he is in this fight very well. Very smart about where to use the cage. Very smart. And fighting off his back. Yeah, yeah those elbows, and, and those short little elbows right there. Dangerous. So very, dangerous off very, his back. Very much. Good fight, man. Great fight here. I'll tell you right now, man. And you sc listen, you score points when you're fighting off your back and you're throwing these shots. And, and he's timing it perfect because every time Omar tries to go in, he's already trying to catch him with that with that elbow. And I mean, you look at the, the quickness. All right, and and gonna be stood up here. All right, I, Aaron Maynard. I agree, I agree with, with this. That, I, I do too. And again. Omar Benjar immediately, now, I don't agree with that. No, no, no. Keep it on your feet, Omar. Keep it on your feet. I mean, are you, you know, and I, I can't help but wonder, right, look, is, is he that tired? That's a good point. And, and That's I'm, a very and, good and, point. And I'm surprised. If he is that tired, I'd be a little surprised, to be quite well, honest with you. If you're Omar and you're thinking about how the fight's going this far, you have two minutes left. If nice play, trip. That's a really nice trip on Omar Benjar. You're playing it safe. You're going banking on that you've, you're two to one. And I would think that he, and in, in my eyes, he is up to two rounds to one. Right. Um, but you do want to finish strong in the eyes of the judges. Keep it. Oh wow! Oh, that's a great. Wow, that, that, was, that was gonna a, fight over that right now. Wow, that was a great roll. Out. That was a great roll. Omar needs to get By to Hudson. his feet. Oh, he's running around. Oh, he's wow. going right back into Boy, trouble. He's, he's going right back into trouble. Yeah, and now wow, to he re wow, now he reversed yeah. Hudson. Get, just disengage, get to your feet, disengage, watch out for the up kick, just exit quickly, exit quickly, exit quickly. Yeah, that's that explosive. Ooh, yeah, I like disengage. That. Jeremy Hudson, great job with that reversal. And he's going right back in. Yeah, Omar Benjar one more time. He's going to take it down. Finish the last minute of the fight. Both fighters exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. I mean, these, the, they have, the first two rounds were tremendous pace. Yes. Now, if Omar could finish the fight right here with less than a minute and drop those elbows down, possibly cut open uh, Jeremy Hudson. Yeah, and he's and, and thus far he's done a good job right here. Omar just needs to lock this position in. Get your hips in there. You need to lock this in. You need to keep this close. You need to keep this tight. You need to lock this in. That's that it. That could be it. That's, That's underneath. It. This should be the fight. This should be the fight. That's oh, it. Oh, he tapped out. Omar Benjo, the more rock and roller. That's it. Just one with less than 20 seconds in the third round. And he did it with did it with the rear naked. Did it with the rear naked. Wow, what a great fight. Omar Benjar, rear naked choke, round three, with under a minute left. The second. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Aaron Menard, has called the stop of the fight. At 4 minutes, 28 seconds, into round number 3, declaring the winner by submission due to rear naked choke, the Moroccan Mauler, Omar Benjar!
All right, so Genesis Jiu Jitsu 2 and 0 tonight. This lovely lady that won earlier is the wife of this l lovely human being with the. Well, his face isn't quite as pretty as when he walked in, but Omar, man, terrific fight. I mean, you, you fought a young kid that really had a lot of flash, a lot of heart, a lot of, lot of good moves, things like that. I mean, he was pushing the pace. You were pushing the pace. You ended with a rear naked choke. Tell everybody out there with the oxygen you got left in you, your thoughts on how the fight went and, and how you feel right now to be a husband and wife duo that have both won tonight here at XKO. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate my wife, the new 125 champion. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, my opponent was very strong. He came out hard. Um, you know, I, I just, I just kept going. I had to go, keep rolling with the punches. Uh, I believed in my skills. You know, I have great coaches on my side: Coach Doug Fry, Coach Eric Lincoln. Uh, Coach T Tony Carbello, Coach uh, Albert Hughes, and then Justin Patterson, who's also been assisting me throughout the camp. Um, you know, I train with a lot of monsters, young, a lot of young and up and coming monsters that push me every single day. And so I just want to dedicate this win to all my training partners out there, every single person that pushed me throughout the camp. Uh, I want to thank my wife, I want to thank all my coaches, I want to thank you. Uh, um, yeah, sorry, but yeah, I feel great. I'm glad I got the finish, you know, but yeah, that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I won't keep, I know this young man's tired, but look, power couple of the night right here, Omar Benjar, Lauren Benjar, the coach, Doug Fry, his wife, Jen who is the Invicta Women's Champion. I'll talk about another power couple. So if you're a couple learning to fight, uh, Doug Fry and Genesis Jiu-Jitsu is where you want to train. All right, so Omar, go get your head looked at.